I hope you all have a lovely evening and a lovely weekend. So today at our info session, we're going to pre present cohort at Rise Venture Program Cohort 3. This info session is going to give you a summary about how you're going to submit your application, what exactly is needed if you were from your end, what exactly our program, how, what is the process, what are you going to gain from it, what is needed from your end, and what we're going to provide at our end. And by the way, we do have Adelaide with us. Adelaide is she's the program assistant with Rise Venture team. My name is Rama. I'm the program manager for the Rise Venture team. Adelaide is going to manage all the chat box. So if any of you have any question at any time, feel free to toss it in the chat box. Otherwise, between the presentation, I'm going to give time for questions. You can unmute yourself and ask your question by then. If you're not comfortable talking or asking your question, just toss it to the chat box. And Adelaide is going to read your questions and she's going to provide the answers if something quickly can be answered. If you have any questions, let us know and uh, we'll be more than happy to help you out. Let's get started. So I'm gonna give you a quick summary about our program. It's Rides Venture Team. So, and we are part of Innovation Wealth. So Innovation Wealth, the summary can be like the only word can express Innovation Wealth is collaborative. So we do serve entrepreneurs education, hands-on mentorship, workshops and events, co-working spaces and networking. And when I say networking, I'm talking about big events where we can provide um, sometimes fund opportunities, grants, uh, like International Women Day, we can have great networking sessions, make a networking that will promote your business, your skills, your knowledge, and definitely bring all the benefits for you guys. Who we are at Innovation Wealth, we are proud to serve as a hub where businesses and community converge, collaborate, and cross-pollinate. So pollinate, we're going to define, uh, we're going to uh, express a little bit more about our partners. And pollinate is one of our partners that we're going to, uh, you're going to express an experience with them through this program. And through our mentorship business, uh, mentorship and business support services, programming and events, will help all startups and small to medium-sized companies take their businesses into the next level, promote it, and expand all the opportunities that can serve you. We're definitely, this is a like a very quick summary. We served and supported over 1,285 businesses from the startup to scale-ups. Each year, we support over 50 scale-up companies and definitely we have focused programs, but this is not limited to it. So we're focusing in the agriculture innovation, information and communication technologies, advanced manufacturing and a clear technology. Just to confirm one more time, this is not the only spaces and focus that we're serving. We have more than one business. We have many businesses in different categories in different services and they are still eligible and within our program. We're moving the needle for women in business. Technically 50% of the companies were supported in 2019 up to 2020. And right now we're in 2021, are women founded, co-founded or led. So the companies we're serving, technically for Innovation Wealth, not only Rise Venture Program, we have more than program. We have a startup, we have fast lane, we're going to, we have IHAP, I'm going to present it for you. So you know, we also have women entrepreneurs and supported women who are founders, co-founders who are lead these companies to get the chances to be something to prove and improve their business and promote it to reach the high level she can. Definitely we reach for across uh, Southwestern Ontario and beyond, but for Rise Venture Program, in order for you to be eligible, you have to be registered, your business registered in Ontario. You as a person doesn't have to be outside of Ontario, or inside of Ontario, it doesn't matter if you're here or not, as long as your business is registered in Ontario. We have other programs, as I mentioned, we have a startup program in Fastlane. So technically, when you are enrolled in Rise Venture program, after you finish, there is something called referral. So when you finish with us, we don't let you like, if you won the, um, the, the award prize, which is up to $25,000, $25, we do a referral fees. 
where we can refer you for other programs at Innovation Global, where you can get more benefits, more help with other PMs to support and promote your business and grow it more and more. For the startup program, Innovation Global Start is especially designed for startup and early stages companies that want to accelerate their business to early revenue and investment. For the fast lane, it's a unique program for Innovation Global that offers the greatest acceleration of SMEs who are looking to scale up their businesses. We do have other program as we mentioned, we have Rise Up and we have Agriculture Innovation Accelerator. We have IHUB. So for Rise Up, technically it's National Accelerator addresses the unique aspects of women founded or co-founded companies. The program built upon our prior successful Rise Women's programming and has been tolerated to help entrepreneurs identify an effective path of scaling up. For the agriculture is more focusing on the agriculture, food, agriculture, technology, agriculture, innovation sector. And definitely this program always provided over $5,000 in support for business scale up services. For the IHUB, technically it's support and the creation of a new business and collaboration and contribute to the um, circular food economy through the development of circular food solutions. Lit definitely is led by Innovation Wealth. It's a separate program, but it's led under Innovation Wealth. So Rise Venture Program. This is where things get more excited and more focused for your needs, guys. The Rise Venture Program is invented and led by women entrepreneurs. Since 19, since 2013, Rise Venture Project has reached more than 1,850 local women at various ages for different stages of businesses. And when I say different stages, you might have your business just started, zero revenue. You don't have a, like an action plan. You don't have a business plan, but you're planning to start your business. You're still eligible. This is okay. This is good. And you might have your own business already started. You started to go and grow and you have revenue, you have employees or you have a store. This is also you're eligible. So when we're talking about businesses, we're covering all kind variety of businesses for women to support them. Program provided education, mentorship, financial support, and networking with the social and emotional support, definitely. So we're gonna go for each one of these uh, details in, in, in very more detailing and information for you guys, especially the mentorship. You're gonna love it so much because we do have a pool of expert industry specialists, journalists, and mentors who are going to support you through the whole process, through the whole program, from the beginning till the end to achieve the best possibilities and promote your business and projects. Rise Venture Program is a custom design program created by women entrepreneurs for women entrepreneurs. We have crafted a balance in class learning, practical hands-on project work, where you're going to have industrial specialists, journalists who are going to support you through the whole way. Mentorship, we're going to have mentors who are going to support you and peer-to-peer -peer networking address your biggest challenges at your business. If it is many sectors, if it is in designing, marketing, sales, customer service, all these things can be addressed. We're here to help you out and to pass it and to push your boundaries and see through to, a, to your implementation phase. Before I move for our program, because we do have three streams in Rise Venture, any questions? Okay, that's good. If you have any questions at any time, definitely feel free when I ask any questions for you. Ladies, unmute yourself and feel free to ask your questions. Hi, yeah, I now. have a question. Sure. Um, I was just wondering, is, is there somewhere we can look? How, how do you know which program would be best for you? Yes, I'm going to count this. This is really great questions and it's been asked before. So I'm going to answer it to you right now. And also for whoever is going to be new or you want to tell someone else about mm -hmm. this, two things. After we finish this, finish this session, this is going to be a recording, going to be shared with you guys, with everyone. The second thing, if you log into our website, there's a frequent ask questions. This is one of the questions that customers usually, clients usually ask because they don't want to make the wrong choice, right? Yeah. So now let me go over the three streams. I'm going to answer your questions while we're explaining this process. 
Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Anytime. Any other questions, ladies? Okay, good. Now, for Rice Venture Program, we do have three streams, okay? We have the small business, scalable, and social enterprise. For the small business, it's definitely for the three streams, it has to be new and established business. Now, for the small business focused on local regional market, you have to be growing or refining your products or services. The last thing, it has to be focused on service or product that you produce or present or serve. For the scalable, it has to be focused on STEM, agriculture, innovation, and the clean tech sector. It has to be growth and or export oriented. Definitely it has to be product focused. For the social enterprise, it has to be as usual, local, regional, or global market committed to using business to solve social or environmental problems. So just to get, let me give you a quick summary to answer also the lady question. Now, when you apply, there is an application. When you log into the application, they ask you, where do you see your business fits more? Two things, there is no right and wrong. So definitely you can ask, you can see your business. You can see, I'm not sure I'm a small business or scalable, or maybe I'm social enterprise or a small business. You're not sure about that. It's okay, don't worry. There's no right and wrong. So technically when you submit your application and you put what you see fits, even if you're not a little bit, if you're hesitant or a little bit confused, it's okay. After you submit the application, we have our team and we have an expert who are sitting together and we check the application see every details and information you have provided. And based on that, we are assign, we're gonna reach out to you telling you, perfect, thank you for your application. You have, for example, you have submitted your application for a small business, but here's, we can see that you're more fitable for scalable because one, two, three is going to be benefits for your business. We're going to promote your project in these ways, one, two, three, four, five. So the same thing, if you have two options and you're not sure about it, just put it at the application and definitely will be helpful and will be supportive to you guys. Any questions, if you're not sure about it, even if you put it and it's not the right sector, we're going to adjust that, we're going to reach out to you and explain it. Would that answer your question? I think it does, <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank Any you. Any questions for now? Anytime. Any questions? We're good? Okay. Now the benefits. So quick summary about Rise Venture Program. Rise Venture Program is cohort-based program. So technically the, the duration of the program is eight months. So you're going to have first three months for education session, for you have education modules. Then you're going to have a project break where you're going to have an ad hoc sessions based on the needs of the clients, based on the needs of you. If you are one of the participants, but exactly we need more sessions, going to be complimentary. We're going to provide everything to support you. Now we're gonna go back for the second education module phase. And then there is the graduation. Later on in this presentation, we have a roadmap. It's going to show you from the beginning till the end, what exactly you're going to go through. Right now, let's tell you the benefits quickly. So you have eight months part-time classes. You have six hours twice per month is going to be led by subject matter expert and seasoned business leaders. Number two, group mentorship will carefully literally be matched based on you. So what exactly your business, what exactly your skills, your need, we're going to match you um, in a very careful way. We have our methods to be matched with the right proper uh, mentor who's going to add professional and leadership development for you. It's going to be eight hours. Definitely these eight hours only for mentorship, but your project as whole have different hours where you're going to assign industrial specialists or journalists who are going to support you all along the way from the beginning till the end. Hands on project, as I mentioned, you're going to work with industrial specialist. Then also you're going to build networks. So when I say networks, this is really great. So through our program, we provide you with many funding and grants opportunity it comes all over across our way from the government, different resources. All these opportunities, we always share it with you. You have or your mentors and specialists to help you apply 
to go through the process. Definitely, if you have any questions, we're always here to help you and support you. You can reach us, to, uh, reach out to Rise Venture team through the emails. We're going to support and we're going to share with you. Now, there's also networking events is going to be only for you, for the Rise Venture team. Definitely going to be three streams. Every one of these three streams going to be participating, participating in these networking events. So you're going to express any challenges, success, give and take, ask and answer. So all of these are going to be shared with you. The most important part is at the end, you're going to do a pitch where you're going to present your business. We're going to be qualified competition between you and the other participant. You're going to be qualified for 25 grants. So definitely this is going to be divided by the CEO's radical generosity approach. So just to confirm, as I mentioned, we have three streams, right? So everyone in small business is going to be competing each with each other. The same for scalable, the same for social enterprise. No one from the social enterprise is going to be compete with the small business, no. So each stream participant going to compete together and eventually we're gonna have a winner from each of the streams. Any questions? Okay, that's good. Now, as you all know, when you register for the info session, the application online is already open, open since May 1st, it's going to last till May 31st. So make sure if you are so if you want to submit an application, do not pass the due date of May 31st. Go ahead and apply now. Uh, apply online right now. After you apply in early July, we're going to send you an acceptance letter. We're going to provide you with all the information for uh, for your registry, your email, what exactly who's going to be your mentor that we're going to match for you guys. What is the the process, the application, the forms you're going to fill and use. We're going to send you a very detailed email with everything you're going to do step by step. As I mentioned before, so our program is going to be classes every two weeks. It's going to start from August up to October. Then you're going to be the implementation break where you're going to work with expert to help you apply what you need in your business. And this is going to be from November 1st up to February 4th. Then the, the second part, also another education modules, we're going to have a classes, is going to be from January to March. Now, just to highlight, for cohort three, it's all going to be online. So you don't have to worry. Even if things get better and everything go back to normal, you're not required to attend any classes in person or to come to the location of the classes. You are welcome to stay online. It's going to be online from the beginning till the end. This is the core element of our Rise Venture program. So technically there's 12 education modules and then there is the project diagnostic and implementation where you're going to work with, with your industry specialist and mentors. And then the mentorship where it's going to have focus on professional and leadership development. As you can see, you are as participant, you're going to have three components. Each one of them is connected to the other. So technically while you are taking the education modules, you're going to be working in your project diagnostic and implementation plan. While you're doing this as well, you're going to be working with your mentor to make sure that your business are going in the right track according to the plan. Anything need to be developed, anything need to be focused on, any risk or challenges need to be highlighted. So we and the other mentors and specialists is going to work with you, help you solve it and overcome it. This is a roadmap and probably if it's not showing big enough, let me know. I will try myself my best to make it clear. So as I explained before, this is what exactly our program from the beginning till the end. You're going to apply your application, then you're going to start the project work, journalist, industry specialist, and advisor. So you're going to work for the first four week on your product diagnostic, while you have the education session, I just, I just explained to you. Then you're going to have the two month project break. These two months we're going to provide for you ad hoc sessions. Based on what ad hoc sessions, these are information 
the sessions and topics of the sessions and the facilitator who is going to provide it based on your needs. So for example, if you need more information about social media, how you want to make social media serve your business, how you want to make more revenue to get the benefit, the best out of social media to serve you, your services, your products. For example, so these are the, the, one of the ad hoc sessions that we are providing for our clients. Your finances, how are you gonna manage finances, the operation, the running cost, um, where you're gonna have your, your pipelines, etc. All these information is going to be provided to you. And as I mentioned, you can see here, the topics of the education sessions, you have six and six per quote. The first part, six education sessions, modules, and the third part, the second part, the same as well. And here is going to be at the middle, the three ad hoc sessions where you're going to have uh, the project break for two months. Any questions? Good, perfect. After you finish the session, you're going to be qualifying pitch. All the participant is going to present their pitch and compete each against each other. So. I know this is gonna come into a part like, I don't know how, what should I include, how many slides. So definitely we're gonna share with you the rubric, the criteria, the five slides, what exactly need to be included in each one of them and how you're gonna present it. We also have another uh, pitch competition and pitch training with some of the our journalists who are specialized in this, we're going to provide you two hours training, how to prepare, how to pitch, how to arrange, how to organize everything so you can compete at a very high level. This is the classes, as I mentioned, this is the dates and all the classes is going to be in the modules from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. So ladies, right now I'm sharing this with you so you can have an advance, you can manage and plan your timeline. So just to let you know, if you wanna be qualified for the money award, the final pitch, you have to attend nine session out of 12. If you miss one hour after these nine sessions, you're not qualified. So we have 12, you have to attend it all. If you missed up to three, that's fine. One hour after these three, you're not qualified for the final pitch. You can continue the project, but you will not be competing for the award. So as you can see here, all the info sessions, all this is going to be from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. For each of, of the, of the, uh, of the uh, streams, to have a specific dates. And also, I know it's COVID. I know sometimes uh, unexpected reasons might come up, take care of someone sick, uh, kids. If you have kids online schooling, if not, if you have some partners with you, the internet, you and him or her have to work at the same time. All these challenges it does come into our ways. So don't worry about it. We're flexible about that. Every time we have an education session is going to be recorded and the recording is going to be shared with you just in case you have it as a, you have questions, you wanna go back to explain something, to clarify something, all is going to be sent to you as a reference so you can use it when needed. Technology, this is my favorite part. So each one of us, even in our normal life, we have approach to manage our life, right? So. If you want to go for a grocery, you have a list on your fridge, on your phone, on your computer. This is what I want to get one to three. You put it down, then you go and pick it up, everything you need, right? So for our Rise Venture program, we have created a system that is going to be an, an application to use. So let's start one by one. Just so that you know, all the education sessions, all networking events, we're always using Zoom. And I believe we're comfortable because right now we're using Zoom. So this is our communication approach online. Now, Pollinate, I told you at the beginning of this uh, presentation, Pollinate is one of our partners and they do have a platform that is going to include all medial materials, resources and discussion forums. Also going to be available for you as a source of information. The third part is Arrive. Arrive is not uh, something you can Google it. It's an app being designed specifically for Rise Venture program by us, by Innovation Wealth Team. To confirm, so Arrive is a goal setting app. Let me summarize you quickly what Arrive is gonna do for you. And this is mandatory for you all to use. I know some of you might be using MS Project, 
Excel sheet, Smart Sheet, Wonderlist. There is many project management tools everyone is using, but Arrive is going to be the accepted and legible tool to be used for Arrive for Rise Venture Program. All the participants are going to use Arrive. Definitely no worries. We're going to provide you training manuals that explain every step. For example, if you want to set a goal, what are you going to do? What steps you're going to follow? Everything has been documented. Also, there's a tutorial video is going to be shared with you. Arrive is a goal setting application. Let me give you quick updates. So there are three important factors in Arrive. Number one, in Arrive, it's going to give you, it's going to translate your thinking, your thoughts, your plans into an action plan. So technically, you just need to write down your goals or what you're thinking, and Arrive is going to reflect it to you as an action plan, where you're going to have gun chart, timeline, everything you put inside from to percentage of completion, who's going to support you as a mentor or specialist assigned to your project or assigned to your business, you're going to see it there. So technically, this, let's say that the program start today is going to be end in a week. So Arrive is going to draw you the line, the timeline map. It's going to show you the start and the end. We're going to put your goals, your objectives, what you want to achieve, the task you want to do, in, and how you're going to put this. Definitely the journalist or the industry specialist or the mentor who is going to work with you is going to support you to list this down, justify it, clarify it, and address it. Now, the second thing, once you put these goals, you're going to see timeline reflected right away in front of you. It's an action plan where you can visualize. There is going to be overlap. If there is anything, timeline needs to be changed, stretched based on the lockdowns, any updates coming up your way. Definitely, there is always something may come up. It's fine. And also, when you are meeting with your mentors or specialist, everything you're going to agree upon is going to be documented in this arrive. So if your mentor met with you and you agree that you're going to draw an action um, line for the social media, what exactly you're going to do, what exactly he or she is going to do. So all of these things can be addressed, have it in front of you, documented and arrive. You can follow up and make sure that, yes, this has been done, done, this is not yet. Why? Because they have one, two, three. Any risk, issues, challenges can be addressed and arrive. Definitely, we as Rise Venture team going to be highlighted for us so we can take an action and fix it and help you out to overcome all these challenges. The last thing, it's actually going to be amazing for you guys. It's going to help you out because you can export a report, what you have done, what it still remains, uh, what you have achieved percentage of completion up to date. So everything you can export it into an Excel sheet, into PDF, you can visualize everything going on. If you have, if you want to change any of these goals, definitely this is, can help you out. Any questions? Good. Okay, that's good. Additional perks. As I already talked to you about the pitch competition, and it's going to be up to $25,000. And we also have complimentary online learning. So all of you, once you're accepted into the program, uh, username and passwords is going to be sent to you where we have online um, courses is going to be provided for you guys. So you can have an access to what learn. It could cover everything you could think of, human resources, risk management, risk mitigation, um, uh, customer service, social media, marketing, sales, everything. This is an additional source of education. We're going to provide it for you. Uh, as you as a client from the beginning till the end and whole Rise Venture program, we're not paying anything at all. So everything is covered by our program. Now the networking event, as I mentioned before, is going to be through our program, through other programs, Innovation Guelph, through external sources, any kind of government funding opportunities, um, networking event with, with other universities, with other partners. Definitely all of this is going to be shared with you. If you're interested, you can just go and attend. Promotional support, definitely while you are working, many of you is going to have great success, great accomplishment, 
great achievement. So we'll be more than happy to highlight this as and spotlight it as success stories. And definitely we have some recording videos where we can do some great success with one of the participants. We do a video tutorial and talking about what you have achieved and share it with everyone else. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, just to let you know by after now, we're going to go over the application that you're going to submit, what exactly the fields in this application, how you're gonna fill it. We also have the Canvas business where you're gonna fill it as well. I'm going to explain to you each field, what should be included, how you're going to cover it, how you're gonna fill it. Any question before we move to the next step? Okay, that's good. Adelaide, any question at your end? No questions in the chat right now, Rama. Thank you. I do have a question. So, I do sure, have a question. Please go ahead. Yes. Um, regarding the class, you mentioned about the online class, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, how long is yes. that session for? It's from 1 to 4. It's yes. uh, so, actually, I think for the new cohort, is going to be from 1 to 3.30, Adelaide. Yes, so each education module is three hours by weekly running from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, and the, the timeline from for how in terms of um, length of time, I'm just trying to see how much um, time we would need to dedicate to that. Sure, here's the dates and this presentation is going to be shared with you as well at the end, so you can have reference. So based on what stream you're going to be enrolled. So for example, if you're enrolled for small businesses, this is the first six education modules going to be shared with you. Here's the dates. For example, September 14th from one to four, four classes. From October 12th, one to four class. October 6th, 26th, the same. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Anytime. Any other questions? Yes, Rama, there are a couple questions in the chat. Um, the first question is whether um, more than one participant from a business or more than one person from one business can enter into this program. Yes. So we have some businesses where we have two ladies are partnership with this business and they want to attend the sessions, the info session and the program and get benefit of this education opportunities and networking. Definitely, yes, they can attend and they can participate and get benefit and use all the benefits and perks we're providing for our clients. But when it comes for the final competition, it's only one of them is going to present and be competing. Yes, absolutely. And I just want to add to that. Um, so just to clarify, um, you're more than welcome to have, for example, one person who's in your business attend like an education session, for example. However, only one of you technically can apply and attend the education sessions because we do track attendance, for example, for the pitch competitions. So it would need to be the same person consistently attending the education sessions, attending the volunteer mentorship group meetings, um, and then eventually, of course, pitching at the end of the program. And as I mentioned before, for the benefits, Every education session is going to be recorded, sent to you, so you can use it as a reference. So you and anyone else want to watch it with you guys, if you're partnered, definitely feel free to do so. It's a source of information that an education that is available for you. The second uh, question, Adelaide? Yes, thank you. There's one more question. Go Will on. you be more likely to be accepted if your business fits your categories exactly? Yes. So here's the thing. When you say accepted, when when there are like when we're receiving, for example, we're targeting around 55 application. So if you are fit exactly and match all the criteria and everything we're looking for, uh, I can't see any reason why we wouldn't be. This will be great actually value for you and will be the like high percentage of get accepted. Absolutely. And Rama will be going over the application momentarily. Because um, in the application, of course, you want to be as detailed as possible about your business as there is an application review process as well as an interview. Yes. Any other questions, ladies? That's good. Now, the business model canvas. When you submit your application, this form, it has to be submitted as well. So let me just get you quickly to show you what it's look like. 
this is the um, Canvas business. This is the, the form, how are you going to fill it? So it's going to be categories. So what exactly the key partners, key activities, key resources, uh, value proposition, customer relationship, revenue, each one of these areas, I'm going to show you exactly what is going to be included and how you're going to fill it out to make sure that you're putting the right information. So this is the framework building blocks. So this is one, two, three, four, five. All these is summarized here. So you're going to cover the key partners, customer relationship, value proposition. We can call this sector as partnership and resources. Now the second part is going to be key activities, customer segments and cost structure where it's going to be also covered under customer communication and relations. The last part is going to be the value proposition, constructure, and value streams, where you're going to fill the key resources, channels, revenue streams. Now, each one of these sectors, I'm going to explain to you what exactly is going to be included. For key partners, for example, you need to include the suppliers, distributors, uh, resellers, funders, investors, community partners, and more. For the key activities, you're going to include what exactly do you do? And how do you provide your services and product for customers? And do you have a key performance indicator in place or not? Now for the key resources, it's about the human resources and staff, employee, intellectual property, equipment, technology, and much more. For the customer relationships and customer segments and channels, think of this area as communications. Technically, what relationships are you expecting with your customers? And what exactly the value customers receive from your business? What the value that your customers receive exactly? So think about it, give it time and make sure that you put as much details as you can. Now the customer segment, think about your most important customer, how you want to target them, how you want to maintain them, how you want to like gain their loyalty, what exactly relationship you're looking for with them. For the channels, so technically how you are reaching and hoping to reach for your customers. Now we know that COVID hits, for example, before you were like in store, people can walk in or just give you a phone call or just do the service in person. Now with COVID, you need to think about alternatives, right? How you wanna reach your customers, social media, online, design, uh, marketing and sales approach. So you need to think about this, uh, what you're looking for. Also, how are your product services delivered? For example, is it going to be commerce distributors or is it going to be online or is it going to be areas that you purchase time for it so they can use it? So make sure to think of all of these and put details as much as you can. And one more time, ladies, there is no right and wrong. Just put everything you know, everything you can think of, and then this is our part where we come to help you structure, translate these thoughts into an actions and into implementation where we can promote your business. Value proposition about your competitors. What makes you unique? How you're going to overcome this challenge with them? How are you going to compete with them? What problems does your business solve? And how this like, your service makes you unique than others. Think about the overall value, what your business provides. For the cost structure, do you have a pricing strategy? Like do you have value-based or low cost uh, a premium? So think about this. Also, what is your gross margins, earnings before inserts tax? And by the way, if you're still start new business and you don't have revenue yet, that's totally fine. This is not going to affect your eligibility, your chances registering for this program. What, is, what are your biggest expenses? Is it like rental? Is it raw material? Is it machines and equipment you use? Is it human resources that you're affording? So you need to know about all of these. Revenue stream, how are you making money? What is the value customer are willing to pay? for your services, for your products. And if you have multiple streams, what percentage that does each contribute to your overall uh, revenue?
Now we have provided an example for you also, just could help you out a little bit so you can imagine what kind of things you can include. This is a model canvas example for Airbnb. So you can see here the sample being filled out for the revenue, he put percentage, but if you can put numbers will be much better, much easier to track and much easier to, uh, to update the database. So this some example is going to be shared with you as well. This can help you out and imagine how you're going to fill out your template. Any questions before we move for the application? Good. Now, this is the application. Technically, what is the company legal name and operation as if you have a legal name, for example, you have Rise Venture, but the operations as Rise Venture team, make sure to, to include this. What is the address, the province, if your company, if you have a website, then if you have any kind of social media you wanna include. Here, you see this question. Do you feel you best fit into a scalable small business or social enterprise? So definitely feel free to write anything. And one more time, do not feel overwhelmed or stressed or not sure or hesitant. It's okay, even if you guessed it wrong, you're here to put it as the right category. So don't worry about this. Now, primary contact. One of you related just asked question, what if more than one can be participating or you have a partnership at your company, more than one of you are uh, working at the same company. Feel free to add their names if you wanna be two of you feel free to add the first name and then definitely you can add here alternative contact for you or for someone if you um, for some reason not being reached make sure that you add the other contact in here the social media for your company for your business make sure to list it if you don't have any or if you have some it's okay we're like while you are the rights venture program this is going to be developed and going to be grow so don't worry you're going to have everything you're looking for Corporation information, total number of founders, founders are women or not, how many? And by the way, if it's led by a woman or not, co-owned by a woman or not, just remember this is an entrepreneurs for women. And what exactly your business based? Is your company incorporated? If it is, make sure that you're going to put your business number in here. And by the way, if any of you have their own business and it's not being registered yet, it's okay. Just make sure that you have your business registered uh, before the beginning of the new cohort, which is going to be in August. But now if you have, if you don't know how, or if you need help how, if you're looking for the frequent ask questions, FAQ at our website, one of the questions is how I register my business and do I need it to be enrolled at the program? Yes, you need it to be enrolled at the program, but you don't need it to apply. And this is, will not affect your eligibility to be accepted or not. So technically you're going to log in to the website, frequent ask questions. We provided a link where you can click on this link it's gonna take you how to register your business. Um, honestly, it's gonna take less than 10 minutes and you will have your business registered. Any questions? Eligibility. So here is also at the application, if you wanna go for the frequent ask question where you can copy and click here you can download it and have it. Just a few minutes before I uploaded, I told you about the business model canvas, right? So technically, when you log in here at the top, you can click here and you can download it or at the bottom where they ask you to download it. You're going to find here, here as a PDF or Word document, whatever you're more comfortable with. You feel like it's easy for you to fill it out. Now, very important point, things we're facing with other clients. Make sure you download the version of the uh, business model canvas. Make sure you fill it out from A to Z, save it. Make sure to save it, then upload it. Previously, one of the things we have been facing, some of the clients, unfortunately, they uploaded the business canvas model, they uploaded the empty um, form, or for some reason they did not save it or not been saved. So make sure that you download it, save it, open it, make sure all your answers is being saved, then upload it, to, uh, to your online application. And to save time, if you wanna do the right thing, the first thing you get into this application, download, fill out your model canvas, and then upload it back again and fill out the rest of the application. Any questions? There's one question okay. in the chat here, Rama. Sure, sure. Is 
business, but later preferred to register another one for this program, is that okay? So if you wanna register any business you have, so you can be applied to this program, definitely no problem. As long as your business registered, owned by a woman in Ontario, and you have a plan and you can fill out this information, you're good. Absolutely. And I would Any just, other questions? Uh, oh, sorry. It's, I would just add to that question. Okay. Um, so when the business that you apply with and if accepted, that's usually how it would work is that business that you apply with is the one that you are in for the program. However, if you are exploring a new business venture during the Rise Ventures program, feel free to connect with us and have a conversation and we'd be happy to explore um, some avenues with you at that time. Definitely. And there other questions. One more question that has just come in here. What if sure. my business is registered in British Columbia? Am I able to register my business in two different provinces? To be honest, I'm not sure if you'll be able or not. You need to go to the link we provided, Adel just provided in there. And there is a contact where you can reach out to them. I cannot advise you in this part, but definitely I know that you can register your business not based on, you can uh, register it as um, a federal where you can work in any province all over Canada. So technically there's two types of business registration where you can register as um, um, a corporate, for example, in Ontario or in Manitoba or in British Columbia and other business where you can register as federal, where you can work anywhere in Canada. So this is, as far as I know, this information, I don't wanna give you wrong information, but definitely if you click for the link that Adela provided, you can find the more information would help you there. Any other questions? Okay. So as I mentioned here, you can download it as a PDF or Word document, make sure, fill out the answers, check that it's been saved, then upload it. Also now here is, you can describe uh, uh, the current stage of your business. Let us know your growth plans for the next year. And remember one more time, there's no right or wrong in here. You can fill what you can and don't worry about the rest, okay? If you have any question while you're filling this application at any stage, do not hesitate to reach us, uh, reach out to us through the email that added to us in the chat box. We'll be more than happy to schedule a call, Zoom meeting or anything with suits you guys so we can um, help you and support you. Okay, what else we have next? The business stage indicators, total employees. If you have any employees, full-time, part-time, temporary, permanent, make sure just to include this information here. Then you have to give a brief description of your company. For example, you could say, my company is providing uh, honey products. We're dealing and it's, um, it's organic, whatever you want to put a description about your company. Uh, also, you need to, pro to describe your product or services with the specific examples. This information I think is easy for you guys because it's about your business and no one know your business better than you. So that's good. Now the business niche indicator investment here, the investment amount, the current investment type you're looking for, then the intellectual property about your property, then the total revenue. As I mentioned, it's okay if this is not applicable, if you don't have any revenue less than 25, 20 to 50 or over 50, still okay. Business stages about the market. Here you can select, if you click here, you can select what market you are in. And if it's not there, you can click in others, going to open you another, uh, uh, another category where you can insert your answers. Now, the, uh, the next code, if any of you doesn't know where is it or how to get it, you can see here, click here. If you click in here, it's going to take you where you can get this number and fill it out. Do you plan to export? So when we say export, if it's in US, it's still ex counting as exporting, but inside Canada, like if you're in Ontario exporting to, and you're planning to export in, um, in British Columbia or in Manitoba, this is not called exporting. So exporting outside of Canada, US, anywhere else, this is count as exporting. And by the way, you might say no now, but as the future while you're in the program, things are going to be really great things going to improve and you're going to put your services online 
So technically online all over the world, not only Canada, this is counted as exporting. Okay, good. What problems is your company solving? If this is any, definitely make sure that anything with the stars, you have to answer it. If there is no stars and it's not applied to you, feel free to not even, uh, to not answer it or put, just put not applicable. What non-technical or personal areas would you like to develop that would make you a stronger leader and business owner? Please provide a specific examples and be rich, like be generous with this information. Anything you feel that you want to tell us, do not, um, do not hold yourself. Just put all the information you can. This is, will help you and help us to define your application, how to, how to we need to prioritize it and how we can match you with the right mentors and put you at the right stream. Program specific information. This is an open end where you can describe about the skills, about the business and the requirement outside assistant or adv advices you need, about what exactly your plan um, that choose to apply with Rise Venture. So this is for you guys to, to write um, and describe and it's um, maximum 5,000 words. If you need more space, just let us know. We'll be more than happy to help you out with this. The closing information. This is how did you hear about us? The information about working with any other, if you're working with any other innovation centers. And make sure to click one, two, and upload your model canvas, business model canvas, and then you can submit. Make sure that you upload the canvas first, okay? Model canvas, otherwise it's not going to submit. If you face at any time, any troubles while you are facing, where you are uh, uh, applying for this application, anything that challenge you, feel free to toss uh, to throw an email and we'll respond to you within 24 hours or 48 hours. Business days, definitely two business days. We'll get back to you with the answer. And I think that's all for, uh, for today. So any questions for you ladies, we're here to help you. Do you have any questions, any inquiries? We have one question in the chat here to get things started. Okay. Can you give an example of non-technical and personal areas that would fit under this? So Ram, it might be helpful to scroll up to the question asking that. Um, it might directly relate to our response here. Um, not here at the top. Let's see. Perfect. So uh, What non-technical or personal areas would you like to develop that would make you a stronger leader and business owner? Okay. Let's say my business is, uh, we have a client here who have her business is a stu yoga studio. And then you took over she virtual it online. Okay. And then she applied while COVID is here. So what non-technical or personal areas you would like to develop to make you stronger? For example, for her now, she needs to get herself more strong in social media, how to present the personality of body language, communicating with others. This is, could be personal. Now the non-technical could be adult. Do you, have, do you have examples with this where you can help? Absolutely. And once we're involved okay. in the education modules, it will become a lot clearer, but give some examples. Non-technical skills and personal would include things like delegation, skills. It would include things like networking. Um, it could even uh, having and your, your volunteer mentorship component comes into this as well. Having conversations about, you know, managing stress, how to, you know, acquire perhaps some balance, with work life, personal life, that sort of thing. It could pertain to goal setting. It could pertain to um, conflict management, conflict resolution, um, and other leadership. So if you think of more like leadership type skills, leadership in business, will give you a pretty good indication of the kinds of skills that you're looking for. Great question. It is a great question. And just to highlight, don't forget that we have also told you about online uh, courses. We're going to have all the all the areas that uh, Adel just mentioned, either it's uh, conflict or communication or uh, skills or leadership or anything. We also have all these uh, online learning modules and courses is available for you guys. It's complimentary. You can log in and you can educate yourself and get more knowledge and skills and experience. Any other questions? Okay, we're good. This is perfect. 
Thank you so much for joining us this evening. It was really lovely to see all the all these beautiful faces and we're looking forward to receiving your application. If you have any other questions, do not hesitate or do not hold yourself from sending us your question through the email. We'll be more than happy to help you out. We'll be more than happy to support you and all the best of luck for you ladies and have a wonderful evening.